Today we will learn compound interest. In the previous video, we learned what is interest as well as we also overviewed the simple interest. Let's understand the compound interest today. The simple interest is derived on the principal and is same for each year, whereas the compound interest abbreviated as CI is obtained on the total amount of the previous year. In this way, compound interest increases year after year. Let us understand this with an example. Suppose we borrowed rupees 1000 from the bank at the rate of 10% per annum for 2 years. But this time we took them at compound interest. First, we will find out how much money will be there at the end of one year. We will use this formula to get interest. SI is equal to PRT divided by 100. Here, the principal of first year is P1 is rupees 1000. The rate of interest is R is 10% and time T is 1 year. In this way, interest for first year is SI1 is equal to rupees 1000 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 1 divided by 100 is equal to rupees 100. In this way, at the end of first year, the amount A1 will be principal P1 plus interest of first year is equal to rupees 1000 plus rupees 100 is equal to rupees 1100. Now, let's calculate interest for second year. In terms of simple interest, the principal is the same for each year, but in terms of compound interest, the interest is calculated on the total amount of the previous year. That is, amount A1 of first year will be the principal P2 for the second year. In this way, simple interest for second year SI2 is equal to rupees 1100 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 1 divided by 100 is equal to rupees 110. In this way, compound interest for both years CI is SI1 plus SI2 is equal to rupees 100 plus rupees 110 is equal to rupees 210. Here, after 2 years, amount is A2 is equal to principal of second year P2 plus interest of second year SI2 is equal to rupees 1100 plus rupees 110 is equal to rupees 1210. Here, we can write P2 as P1 plus SI1. Therefore, A2 is equal to P1 plus SI1 plus SI2, which can also be written as A2 is equal to P1 plus CI. In this way, now if we subtract principal from A2 of the second year, then we get compound interest CI, that is, CI is equal to rupees 1210 minus rupees 1000 is equal to rupees 210. In this way, we can calculate compound interest in different ways. To calculate compound interest, we use formula A is equal to P multiplied by 1 plus R by 100 bracket raised to the power N. Here, P is principal, R is rate of interest and N represents the time period. From the given example, A is equal to P into bracket 1 plus R by 100 bracket raised to the power N is equal to rupees 1000 into bracket 1 plus 10 by 100 bracket raised to the power 2 is equal to rupees 1210 and CI is equal to A minus P is equal to rupees 1210 minus rupees 1000 is equal to rupees 210. We will learn about this formula in the next video. So, today we have learned about compound interest. In the next video, 
we will find out the formula for compound interest. Stop.